a digital twin is the equivalent of a conscious being, right? Somebody who's actually doing the work or of a tool that I used to manage in the process that is fully controlled by artificial intelligence. It's an embodiment of a specific skill or a specific role in the digital space. Okay. So when we talk about all of these different innovations, what we're really talking about are digital twins, right? So when we talk about the innovation at New UX, we have ChatGPT, which is the digital twin with the right prompt of a copywriter. It's the digital twin and right with the right prompt of a poet. We have the digital twin of a graphic designer, right? Through Dolly and Midjourney. We have the perfect digital twin of a personal tutor with Google Bard, where I can just question the entire internet at my own will. And that's what a digital twin is. So what we got to do is keep an eye out for our digital twins and start. And what I recommend doing as a founder is to begin thinking of these artificial intelligence tools as digital twins of the people that we would normally hire. But do we have these viable other beings that we can plug into our company as our digital coworkers and begin to actively work with? The other thing is that we can have digital twins for skills. It's not only roles, right? So when we talk, turn content to clips, we can now use the script to do that very quickly. We want to create a deck. We can use beautiful AI. We want to make incredible blog posts. We can have digital twins not only for roles, right? And that's the thing that I think everyone's fearful of. It's, oh, this AI will take my job. It's going to be my first twin. You can also have digital twins for specific skills. 